To create the focal image for my card, I'm going to use this lovely Alta New set. It's a leaf canopy um, set, and I'm going to use the outline image and the matching die. I'm using watercolour card by Crafters Companion. It's a bright white card, and I'm stamping it in my stamping platform by Tim Holtz to make sure I get a good image um, I'm, and a good clean image I'm going to use my anti-static bag and I'm going to use Versafine Onyx Black Ink and I'm going to stamp it a couple of times because the, the watercolour card is cold pressed and it's uneven the surface is uneven it'll give a lovely watercolour look but um, to I'll just make sure that I uh, stamp it a few times to get a clean image applying embossing powder pouring the excess back into my jar and cleaning up and making sure to clean my stamp as well I wipe it well with a microfiber cloth using my heat tool to emboss these are my zig markers I have a set of 36 and today I'm going to use the violet colours, violet and light violet. I'm also going to use a water brush to help me blend the colours. There are two ways I colour with the zigs. Um, this way um, I start with the markers, I apply the darkest marker and then come in and start blending with the, the medium um, marker and then with the water brush I blend the two colours together, going back to the, the base of the darker colour and pulling the, the colour forward. And then um, if there's excess, I remove it with a tissue. Now my preferred way of colouring with the zig pens is to put down a wash of water first. And then with the dark marker, I start at the base of the leaf. And I just love the effect of the way the um, the colour blooms in the water, travelling forward in little spider webs of colour. And it does a lot of the work for you because um, the, the colours blend organically when you do it this way, putting down the water first. <clears throat> Sometimes I go back in with my water brush. Um, if I feel I've got enough water there already, I might do a little extra blending with the markers. But there's really no going wrong with these pens. Um, every leaf looks different no matter what way you do it. Um, you just have fun. If you haven't tried this sort of colouring before, I really suggest that you do. It is so relaxing. It is so enjoyable. The colouring is effortless. Um, there are other markers on the market as well, not quite as expensive as the Zigs. Um, they weren't um, available or I didn't know about them when I invested in my Zigs. There are markers called Arteza markers. I'll, I'm sure you've seen a lot of the crafters using them and there are videos um, comparing them to the Zigs and um, showing how they work. And they're much less expensive um, than these. Uh, so what, give it a try. I really do suggest that you should give it a try if you have any interest in in learning a new color technique the water brush um the manufacturer recommends that you squeeze the barrel to get the water out but with this particular one um and the supplies are listed below uh, this particular brush i don't squeeze it the water comes out automatically it floods the paper in fact if you squeeze the barrel so I cut the images out with my cuttle bug and when all the pieces are out, I think they look just gorgeous. The stamp set has lovely sentiments in it and they're suitable for many occasions. But in the end, I decided to go with sending hugs and I just needed the word sending from this little stamp. Too small um, to cut out without damaging it, but um, I just covered up the words I didn't want with painter's tape stamping with my Versamark cube having used the anti-static powder tool and I'm going to emboss with white embossing powder this is Stampendous fine detail powder it's a bit as good as the Ranger I use the Ranger as well but this one's really good too
and I heat it up with my heat tool till it's melted and, and shiny using a ruler and pencil to help me uh, straighten up the sentiment and then I cut it out with this little guillotine tool that I got in my local um, discount store, um, the, the Lidl store here in Ireland. Six ninety nine, I think I paid for it. Six euro ninety nine, really inexpensive, but really really good. Gives lovely crisp edges. This cuddle book bug cuddle bug folder I've had for absolutely ages, and it birds and swirls, I think it's called, and I um, cut out a square for the centre of my card, and just using memento Lulu lavender to um, brush with against the edges. Uh, with my um, blending tool just to make it match the the rest of my project and give a little bit of interest so I'm seeing how I'm going to arrange um, this project and I've decided to use the word hugs um, this this is a die set that cuts out a, a gift card holder the the word hugs is uh, just nice and um, cute so I use a sweet plum memento ink um, to color it so that it too will match my project in the end I layered up three of those um, words just to give a bit of dimension to the word on my project using a bit of press and seal I'm sure we've all learned that tip from Jennifer McGuire and how wonderfully useful that product is for, particularly if you've got lots of bits that you're trying to uh, put together on a project, it just holds them holds them fast um, while you ad, while you ad, uh, apply the glue. I'm using double-sided tape uh, to adhere the square to the centre of the card. Just some inexpensive double-sided tape that I buy in my local craft store. It's really inexpensive, but I've had no trouble with it at all. It's very, very sticky. Now you can see here, this is the Gina K uh, glue bottle, but I must admit it's not Gina K glue that's inside. It's um, fast tack glue that I buy in my local hobby store. Um, it's really, really good glue, um, very, very strong. Now, I did like the Gina K glue. It was super and I wanted to try it when all the crafters were recommending it. But um, it's very expensive. Um, I paid more or less the same price for that large bottle in my local store as I did for the little glue bottle from Gina K. But I, did put, I do put my glue into it, I must admit, because it's a super applicator. The word hugs there, I... As I said earlier, I have three of them layered for dimension and then just sticking the word sending above that. And then for a little bit of bling, I adhered uh, five violet coloured gemstones. So just pressing the crease in my card there with my bone folder. And that's the project finished. I really like this card. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I would love if you would give the video a thumbs up and come back for my next video. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so before and if you want to leave a comment below, I'd be absolutely thrilled. Thanks so much. All the best for now. Bye.